If you haven't heard about the Vader G35, you're in for a treat. Forget about spending a few hundred grand to make a statement on the streets, because when this car came out, you could have your very own for just 15K. The Vader has been driven by NBA superstars and big screen supervillains. And although it seemed as if the Vader just disappeared from the face of the earth for a while, let me let you in on a little secret. Let's keep this between us. The Vader is back, baby, and it's better than ever. We're gonna tell you everything that you need to know about how this badass body kit was born and how you can get your very own supercar kit on a budget. And this is the kind of super de duper car that all your friends are gonna think that you just won the lotto. Seriously, this thing is going to blow your mind. So sit down, strap in, and keep watching because I'm gonna dish out the heat and you're about to learn everything you need to know about the Vader G35. Let's go. Let's start at the beginning. I'm gonna take you guys back to 2013 when designer Matt McEntegart had this dream of making this exotic supercar that was affordable for the average consumer. You know, guys like you and me. But the problem for Matt was that he just didn't know how to draw. So with a few bucks, a lot of foam, and a dream, Matt with just grit and perseverance sculpted the design of the Vader himself. Man, this guy's like a genius. And the whole time he was designing it, he was thinking about how he could create it on a budget. So from the beginning, he knew that he had to mount it on top of a used Infiniti G35, or there would just be no way to keep the cost down. And so that is the backbone of the Vader and what he wanted to turn into a supercar. And seriously, that is just pure genius because he was mass producing these kits so that Infinity owners could get a taste of that supercar style without really breaking the bank. And when he first started selling them, guess how much he sold them for? Yeah, $11 thousand dollars for the whole kit and all you had to do was find a g35 that was built from 2004 to 2007 and it had to be a coupe and when the kit was first released in roughly 2013 you could get a used g35 coupe for like four grand so when you carry the one and add the four or four yeah four for fifteen thousand dollars total you could have a car that looks like this Ridiculous. It's so easy to see why this badass kit caught like wildfire among the Infinity owners. Think about it, who wouldn't want to own the sleekest car on the streets for the same price as a Honda Civic? This kit became so popular that it was featured on the Netflix show Car Masters, Rust to Riches. And do you know your friend Shaq? Yeah, the former NBA superstar Shaquille O'Neal. Yeah, he owns one. And it was even used as the Joker's demonic driving machine in the movie Suicide Squad. And you gotta hand it to those producers because they didn't just settle for your average Vader G35, mm -mm, as if there's even such a thing, because they had their souped up Finny painted a magnificent magenta and had the interior outfitted with custom white leather. And I gotta admit, pretty jealous that Jared Leto got to drive that thing. I would have loved to have a little bit of seat time behind the wheel. But as you guys all know, all good things must come to an end. And eventually they did for the Vader G35. But there is a silver lining because the Vader G35 was not wiped off the face of the earth. Contrary to what most car guys believed for a while. But what did happen is the price tag, well, it jumped through the roof. So much so that it was out of pretty much everybody's budget. So what happened? Back in 2019, McEntegart and the other guys over at Vader Body Kits made the hard decision to sell out. And the purchaser was none other than custom crafted cars. And they became the sole manufacturer of the Vader kit. I guess that Matt's dream to deliver supercar style to the world at an affordable rate had a price tag on it as well. And although we don't know what custom crafted cars paid for the dazzling design, they are definitely making making a killing on it now, but it's at the expense of us enthusiasts. Well, the ones that actually wanna build and drive a Vader G35, because sadly they don't offer the kit for a mere $11,000 anymore, not even close. Instead, they actually sell the Vader G35s as entire turnkey sports cars that are riding on the edge of supercars. And that's not only because their performance is now turned up to 11 with fancy engine configurations and a range of other top-notch features, but the prices also turned up to 11 because now they're like $150,000. That's like 
10 times what it was to build one seven years ago. So that means prices went up about a thousand percent. And so it's safe to assume that the dreams of having a neck breaking supercar for less than a brand new Camry had died for all of us enthusiasts. Well, more on why that actually might not be true in just a minute. Because first I wanna talk about what you do get for 150 grand. What does the Vader G35 actually bring to the table with the custom kit? No, it's not your dad's G35 with just a couple cosmetic touches. It's so much more. And when we dig into what the Vader is really made of, you're gonna be surprised because I know I was. Yes, the barrier to entry now is a whopping 150K to drive one of these bad boys. And 90% of the parts used to build this villain supercar is recycled from the original body of the base G35. But that all being said, there are quite a few modifications that are made to these parts before they slap them back on the original chassis. And if you're wondering why McKenticart decided to build the imitation supercar on the G35, because I think most of us are, it's because, well, the G35's chassis is like the holy grail of budget-friendly base frames. And it's the perfect foundation for this badass body. The main body modifications include a rear main body shell, fenders and bumpers, two door outers and two door inners, a hood skin, a rear floating wing, and not one but two lower rocker splitters. All those things added up are the bread and butter of what gives the Vader G35 its signature supercar style. And the sugar and spice to top it all off is the sweet little features that complete this kit. You know what I'm talking about. The DOT headlights, a center tail light, three rear exit vents, two fender vents, and not one, but two after door vents. Oh, and two side roof rails. It's the conscious combination of a charged up body design with the attention to detail in the minor features that makes this recycled supercar Oh, so special. Oh God, it's so good. And I forgot to mention that if you plan on drifting this thing around turns like you're running away from the Batmobile, they got you covered. Because the Vader can get an eight point roll cage installed that keeps you safe even if you do tumble down the Grand Canyon. I wouldn't suggest that at all. And remember, there was a time not so long ago that all these features were offered for way less than 150,000 bucks. But the main difference between the Vader body kits that were selling for 11 grand and the pre-made Vaders coming out of Vader today is what's going on under the hood. They offer a range of different engine configurations. And that's so you can choose how much super de duper car performance you want. You can get a 6.2 liter V8. And with a supercharger, you're looking at between 600 and 800 800 horsepower. Or you could get a built twin turbo LS3 spitting out between eh, 800 and 1000 horsepower. Or you could get an electric motor. But <laughs> that's not all. There's more. You can choose between an automatic, a six speed manual, or a paddle shift transmission. So if you thought you were paying over 100K for some body modifications, Think again. And if you really want a Vader, like really want one, and you really don't wanna pay that premium price tag, you may be in luck, and here's why. There's a company out there called Carolina Vader that recently begun offering just the body kit on their website. So if you're a serious DIY guy, you may be able to get your dream car, or dare I say ideal dream car, or ideal supercar, or ideal kit car, for a lot less than you first thought. See, the kit they're offering is just 15,000 bucks, for just the exterior body. And if you want the optional features like interior fiberglass, custom upholstery, Lambo style hinge doors, which by the way, if you wanna go snag one of our ideal tees, this is one of our best sellers. Go snag one up here. And as far as the G35 Vader, you can also get a Monte Forge 22 inch wheels. Cause why wouldn't you? All that added up does cost a few thousand dollars more, but it certainly is way less than $150,000 you'd pay to have it pre-built. And the best part is it comes with a manual. No, not the one in your glove box, but an actual manual slash like assembly guide to walk you through the steps of assembling your very own Vader G35. But remember, the process involves taking your perfectly intact G35 and completely completely dismantling it. So if you aren't super confident in your auto body skills, I wouldn't even start taking apart your G35. Cause the worst thing is that you could have your naked G35 chassis just sitting in your garage. And now you don't really have a head turner at all. I guess you could at least fire up that VQ engine, wake up the neighbors. Mm -hmm. But I just, I wouldn't be able to get over that feeling of regret and defeat in your heart. But if you got the knowledge and you got the skills that are required, I say go for it. And definitely tag us at Ideal Media Official on Instagram because 
We want to see it because for 15,000 bucks and a little bit of elbow grease, the Vader is still a cheap car that makes you look rich. But before you go clicking on the internet like a madman looking for your very own Vader kit, you might want to know that these cars might not be as great as they look. Since they're bigger, not smaller than the G35, it tends to feel like you're steering a large marine vessel when you're navigating a turn. Plus, it's pretty hard to see out of them. And all things considered, they're pretty much all bark and no bite. That is unless you decide to do like a twin turbo LS3 or something like that, but that is not a cheap modification. So if you're expecting supercar performance and you're not gonna modify the engine, then you're pretty much just gonna be a hater of the Vader. But hold on, there's a new pseudo supercar taking the streets that gives the Vader a real run for its money. And it's called the Gogliardi Vex. This body kit built by Gogliardi Design is meant to transform the Porsche 986 or 987 Boxster into a wide body beast. That'll pretty much make everyone assume that you just made a deal with the devil. This custom shell is purely of sheet metal and sits low and wide, six and a half feet wide and only three and a half feet tall. And it's built on that super sturdy boxer chassis that makes the Vex feel way more like a supercar than the Vader does. And the best part, these pimped out Porsches are going for as low as 45K fully made. That's a bargain. And that's right, no assembly required. That's, that's something that I need. However, if you're into the idea of building your own Vex, unfortunately, Gogliardi Design isn't offering just the body kit to the public right now. But hey, send them an email, tell them that Brad Danger sent you, and maybe you could try to do some convincing. But anyway, even if you buy the pre-made Vex, you gotta admit, that is a whole heap of style for just 45,000 bucks. Maybe something we should get here at Ideal. Okay, so I hope that right now some of you are seriously considering going out and getting your very own Vader. Or since I know some of you guys like Porsches, maybe getting a Boxster and trying out that Vex. At the very least, I hope by watching this video, you learned that you don't have to be balling out of control to get a supercar on a budget. Because sometimes looks <laughs> can be deceiving. Yeah, that, that was a bad joke. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, we are Ideal Media. My name is Brad Danger. And if you're new here, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button and check out some of our other Ideal content. Which one would you choose, the Vader or the Vex? Let us know down below. Hasta la vista. And as always, keep living the Ideal lifestyle.